What's up guys, Another Void here with some more World of Tanks for you. And I'm gonna do the rules for the new Tier 8 Medium Contest. Uh, the tier eight, tier 8 Mediums was selected on the poll on Facebook out of the five different types of replays that were offered and uh, replay contests. So, what, here are the, <laughs> now we're gonna talk about the rules. So, what I'm doing on this replay right here uh, is you're seeing me cap on uh, basically uh, encounter on Himmelsdorf, and this is why I think in a lot of maps capping is pretty uh, paramount because of how you can win so easy just by getting the cap right away. Puts a lot of pressure on the enemy. This would not be a good replay for this contest, and I'll get into it in a second as why. So the replay contest, any tier 8 medium, must be tier 8, must be a medium tank. Only your first submission counts, so make sure you get uh, your best submission in. Uh, if you get your submission in early, it has a better chance to be shown on the channel because I will be picking a couple replays each week to show you guys the best ones I can find. Um, the later, you'll obviously have a better chance to win the contest. Um, the game must have been played after April 28th. April 28th or after. So I think that's pretty much the tail end of 8.4. Uh, any games before April 28th will just be deleted, so don't send them in. Uh, the cutoff date for submissions is going to be June 27th. That will be the end, uh, the last day I'm accepting replays. After that, I'm going to pretty much announce the winner, and you guys will know who the winner is, just like the uh, Tier 7 Plus Heavy contest. Um, the prize is going to be 3,000 gold package from the, the uh, gift shop, or I think the EU's 2,500, or whatever the equivalent is on your server, whoever wins. Um, so that's pretty simple. Now we're going to talk about scoring. Uh, last time it was based on kills, but uh, I don't want to do that this time. I think that's a really bad way to see who got had the best game. Uh, I wanted to use XP, but Watt Replay Manager uh, does not do a good job. Well, it, it shows you the XP of each replay, but it doesn't tell you if the person had premium or not. It just shows the person's XP. If you had premium, your XP is going to be higher, and if you didn't, it's going to be lower. So it doesn't show you the uh, with or without premium uh, so that I could kind of put all replays on you know on an even keel so I can't use XP because I can't easily see how much XP you got from your replay what I can see is how much damage you inflicted so it's gonna be based on how much damage you do the most damage is gonna win uh, if there's a tie which it would be pretty tough with damage but if there's a tie we're gonna do hit percentage and then after that if there's still a tie it will be kills number of kills um, platoons are fine Oh, I didn't talk about that, but that's okay. Platoons are fine because it's not like you're going to be setting up, you know, someone to take get all the damage. It's not, I don't see how platoons are going to really help you that much. Um, also, another big thing, no gold rounds or gold consumables. Uh, a lot of that is because I want to see people play the game uh, with what I think is the more advanced version of the game or the more um, diverse as far as tactics because a lot of tanks... Um, did not have the pen, especially mediums, to be killing, shooting guys from the front, even if you know the weak points. Uh, a lot of them have to flank. It's just the way they are, and that's kind of why I think this game is good, because each tank type kind of has a different play style. If you use gold rounds in a medium, you can basically shoot into the front of guys like a heavy tank, uh, and then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of, you know, having different tank types, except that the medium is faster, so... Um, no gold rounds, no gold consumables. That should even the playing field quite a bit. I know a lot of people don't like that, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. I think it makes it a better game, so that's the way I like to do it. Also, I, I think it's more fair for everybody. It lets more people get involved. Um, send your replays to dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com. Uh, all this information is going to be in the video description, so if you didn't write that down, it's going to be there. Just check the video description. Uh, you can also upload them to, to uh, mwreplays.com and then just send me the link to your replay file. Uh, in, at the Gmail address I just told you about, and I'll just get it that way. Um, if you don't know how to save and send your replays, watch the video that I've linked in the video description. It should tell you all about how to do it. Uh, it's pretty easy, but you know some people don't know how to do that, so uh, that will show you how to do that. So that's all I really wanted to talk to you about. I don't think I left anything out. Uh, make sure you turn annotations on on this video because if I did leave anything out or if anything came out wrong, I will be putting an annotation on the video 
uh, to tell you what the change is or the addition uh, additional rule is. I try to only do that for like the first week. After that, I usually just leave it alone. So uh, also just check the video description because the rules will also change there if there's a correction. Anyway, so that's pretty much how this replay contest is going to work. I've already started accepting replays. I will be showing you a couple of replays. We'll do first week, second week, next week at, when I get back from vacation. That should get us up to speed. Um, and so now let's just talk about the replay. So right here, it's finally we have the enemy moving in on my position. Now they've been, done a pretty good job so far of keeping me from capping. The, but the real big thing here is that my team got to put tons of pressure on the enemy. Now that we've got the T-95 watching my back and I'm watching his back, and that type is pretty much dead, uh, this is going to be really hard for the enemy. So here comes a Patton. Pretty high amount of hit points, not as much as me, but he does get my uh, damage me there and take off my cap points. And I'm trying to get around him on the flank to, uh, to jack him up. I shot him in the mantlet, didn't do anything. And let's see if I can get some damage on this guy right there in the track, right in the corner where I can get some track and damage. Now I'm going to go in and hide behind him so the type can't shoot me. And while I'm doing that, well, let's just take him out because I don't want two guns shooting at me. So he's trying to shoot the T-95, and I'm not letting him. I'm also blocking the T-95. And right here, I take out his support, the Type 59, which is the only guy really was holding me back. This guy's one shot from death. And boom! And the T-95 also one shot from death. Luckily, luckily the E-75 does not get a good shot on him. And now I'm starting to circle him, and boom! He's dead. So now there's only the 1390 left, and we're capping now, uh, unfettered. And... You won't really win every time. I'm not saying you're going to win every time you do rush the uh, cap like this. But it's a good tactic because what it does is put a lot of pressure on the enemy. Especially it works on, I can't remember, that really open map that has the uh, uh, encounter, the cap circle on the extreme right of the map. And usually a lot of people go left where all the hills are. Um, it's kind of a deserty map. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, now this replay right here would not do very well in the contest because... I don't get a lot of damage. I do get, I get a good amount of damage, but it's not anything that's going to win me the contest. So um, I kind of can't wait to see this. I usually like the uh, the medium games are a lot more fun to me, I think. They're a lot more tactical. So they're a much more uh, fun replays to watch, in my opinion. But that's pretty much it. I'm just going to fast forward. All we're doing is capping here, so there's no point in waiting to watch this. And we're just capping them out, and we're, it's it. So let me know what you think. Again, send on all those replays, and I'll see you next time, guys.